What's up guys? Today let's talk about different types of mobile screens that the smartphone uses. Each manufacturer have their own display technology. For example, Sony uses triluminous display whereas Samsung uses Super AMOLED. So let's go ahead and find some more info about different screen types. Number 1 is LCD or liquid crystal display. Is the most common flat panel display. It uses a combination of layers of liquid crystals and a backlight to produce an image. This type of display renders excellent colors on the screen but falls short of the competitors when it comes to contrast ratio. Therefore, it is unable to match the darkness levels of some screens like Super AMOLED and the colors seem washed out in sunlight. Number 2 is TFT or thin film transistor. It is used to improve readability of LCD panels and has fewer number of electrodes per pixel. Transistors are embedded within the panel itself, reducing crosstalk between pixels and improving image stability. Next one is IPS or in-plane switching is an evolution of the LCD invented by Hitachi and LG to improve on colors and viewing angles of TFT displays. This type of panel outdoes TFTs by offering better viewing angles and color rendering, thus allowing users to view the image on the screens at acute angles without the loss of quality. The next one is Retina. Introduced by Apple, this type of LCD panels uses pixels smaller than the human retina can perceive. The pixel density of retina displays is such that the human eye is unable to distinguish between individual pixels, contributing to a more enjoyable viewing experience. This type of display technology is found in the iPhone 4S, 5C, 5S, iPad Air and much more other Apple products. The next one is OLED or organic light emitting diodes produce their own light rather than relying on a backlight thus saving battery and rendering dark colors more effectively. It offers a brighter, more vivid picture with a higher contrast ratio on lower power consumption and is thinner and lighter than LCDs. The next one is AMOLED or Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diodes. This type of display panel is a spin-off of the OLED screens wherein all the pixels are connected to the transistors and capacitors which actively maintain pixel state at all times. This type of screen is cheaper to manufacture and consumes less power than standard OLED screens. The next one is Super AMOLED. Super AMOLED is just Samsung's way of marketing the OLED screens, not a technical term when it comes to display panels. However, the manufacturing process differs from the method followed in developing standard AMOLED panels as the touch detecting layer is embedded in the screen itself rather than being put on top of it. Samsung claims that Super AMOLED screens reduce the amount of sunlight reflected by 5 times. The company develops Super AMOLED, Super AMOLED Plus, HD Super AMOLED differing upon the number of subpixels. The next one is SLCD that is Super LCD is a display panel manufactured by subsidiary of Samsung which was partly owned by Sony till recently. SLCD panels use technology that brings quality and contrast levels to near about AMOLED standards but at a lower price. Essentially, this display technology fares better than AMOLEDs in terms of color definition but loses out by a whisker when it comes to vividness. The next one is clear black. The strength of Nokia's clear black display technology is its ability to block incoming light in order to reduce reflections and improve the image quality especially under direct sunlight. This display panel boasts of deeper blacks and better viewing angles than most of its competitors and is used in Nokia Lumia phones. The last one is e-ink. E-ink displays has been confined to e-readers like Kindle and Kobo till now even though Motorola and Samsung had experimented with them earlier. But a Russian manufacturer has launched Yota Phone, the world's first smartphone with an e-ink display on the back and a LCD panel in the front. E-ink panels do not display colors and are best known for not hurting the eyes even if you stare at them for long hours. This makes them perfect for reading e-books, 
They consume very less power and devices with e-ink panels can operate for days on a single charge. So that's a wrap. Thanks a lot for watching guys. These were some of the info about different mobile screens that I found on the internet. Stay tuned for more and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.